Hello everyone and welcome to Plane Mechanic Simulator. This is an early access game recently released by the same publisher as Car Mechanic Simulator, though a different developer. It currently contains three planes, the Tiger Moth, the Mosquito, and the Spitfire. So we are playing as part of the RAF and hopefully it will eventually contain many more aircraft, but I suppose that does depend on whether it's popular or not. But um, here we are. I did uh, start trying it out, as you can see. And um, I think I'll start fresh. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of doing sort of a... Um, seeing how fast I can go through it. I think that'll be good. Uh, see how... Not the whole game, but just get through the Tiger Moth phase. Because we want to get to the... I, won't, I don't want to say the more interesting planes, but... Um, I, I do like the Mosquito and the Spitfire. So, I, I don't mind the Tiger Moth either, but, you know. It has fewer parts. So, Service Flying Training School. So, this is just a training school anyway. So, welcome to RAF Netherabon. And there is a lot of work to do. We'll get straight to it. See in your notebook. Pilot mentioned power variations in the engine. This looks like a problem with the fuel system. Let's start by opening the right engine cowling. And so we can dismiss the clipboard like that. And... Hmm. They don't really want me to dismiss the tips yet. I was able to dismiss the tips. Oh, there. It just goes away automatically. Okay, good. Alright, so right engine cowling. That's the one. So I'm starting at 10.30 and let's see how long it takes me. Uh, we can rotate the camera with the movement keys. Scrolling mouse wheel will move the camera closer and further. Pressing middle mouse will focus the camera on the cursor. Basically you can pan. And we can zoom with F. Okay. Alright, so we need to do diagnostics mode and check out the parts. I knew from the fact that I've tried this before a little bit that the problem would be the carburetor. And so disassembly mode, we're gonna take off the intake pipe first and somehow we can do that through this lid, but that's all right, we won't be picky. All right, uh, once it's finished doing the unscrewing sound effect, it'll pop out. There we go. All right, and then unscrew, 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 unscrew. Come on, I'm trying to do a speed run here. I also watched Kurt J. Mack play it, uh, YouTuber and Twitch streamer, and uh, also somebody who got a lot of us into Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so repairing parts, we can, we'll save the spare ones for other stuff and improve our score. So we want to oil this, that's the sort of mini game to repair parts, and then we can turn the part with the W, A, S, and D key. So we want to get it into the green zone when we oil it. We need one more place according to the restore status. Ah, there it is. Okay, that is restored. It looks bright and shiny. It says damage still. I don't understand. Oh no. Maybe it just took a little bit of time to... I don't know, let's see. Okay, so assembly mode 2, carburetor. Tighten it. Uh... Okay, yep, 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 I'm way ahead of you. Okay, and then... Yep, air intake pipe. Okay, and then close the cowling. I might be going too fast for it. Yeah, probably going too fast for it. Okay. Yep, we need to refuel the aircraft ladder. Now this is interesting because we have a very long reach, it seems like. And you can see that once I climb the ladder. I I have to figure out how to get to that fuel cap without falling down. We cannot apparently climb on the wings. Ah, that uh, wrong mode. Okay. 
We'll be doing this every single time. Okay. Okay, fuel tank cap on. And there we go. Notebook, task page, and we actually have to wait. Fix the problem if the engine power isn't check marked. Uh that's not right. I thought it said good and everything. What did I do wrong? Well, let's go into diagnostics mode. It still says it's damaged. Aw, oh, nuts. Must have done something wrong. Well, so much for doing a speed run. So if you can't repair it, you have to buy a new one. But let's just double check. No, it says repairable. Okay. Here we go again. Okay, restore status is 100%. So... Well, let's look to see... Oh, there is another spot, though. Okay. It is because I missed a spot, even though it said 100%. Interesting. Okay. Now, all tasks are complete, and we have to sign this. Well, I'm not gonna do anything funny. I'll just... Okay, you didn't let me put TR. Dang it. So we get these little points. And that gets us on our pro on our progress to a promotion so that we can do other planes, presumably. So continue career. 55 is not bad. 55 is good. Maybe they rate us based on how quickly we do it, too. Hopefully. Okay, we need to replace the wheels. Alright, let's get to it quickly, quickly. There's a war. Alright, uh, we need a jack. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, now crank it up. Uh, uh, okay, that's interesting. Okay. It's actually harder to turn once it makes contact with the plane. Okay, maybe that's good enough. Okay, wheel. And off comes the wheel. We'll have to do a replacement form. So, when we can't repair something, we do the replacement form thing. But, let me just do diagnostics on this wheel. Was this okay? It's also damaged, so let's just uh, take it off too, so that we don't have to fill out two forms to requisition parts. Efficiency. This is how we win the war. Okay, replace those two. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me sign my... Uh, you can't do capitals in cursive, Tommy. Uh, I mean... Oh, well. Maybe I should just keep it to lowercase then. Um. Okay, well, we'll go opposite direction. Okay, assembly mode, wheel, yes. Now, of course, this might be even more interesting for more of a story mode, which it somewhat lacks right now. It has the ranks, but... You're basically confined to this little area. In you go. All right. Okay. All right. So that should be done, right? Yep. All right. Uh, right. T. Uh, okay. It's just horrible. It's just horrible. I can't do stuff on this thing. Okay, good, good, good. 
It's a little bit less than we got last time. Not thrilled by that. Um, seems like we'll need about 10 of these, maybe 11 to make it to 500. So continue. So far it's taken 13 minutes to go one-fifth of the way basically. Though presumably complexity increases. Refill the oil. Uh-oh. Works just like refueling, but you'll need to pull the oil bowser close to the aircraft yourself. The oil inlet is behind the left cowling. Okay. That's the oil bowser, right? Uh huh. Ah. Okay, well. Where is our oil system? Oil tank cap. Well, that's simple enough. Right? Filling oil above the max point may result in damage. Okay. Good thing we have this image. I wonder if we get points for getting close to maximum. Well, let's said that I've satisfied the thing. We'll see how many points we get for it. Okay, good times. Cap, cap. There we go. Okay, left engine cowling. I wonder how much you could get totally wrong about this, like leave off screws or something and still manage to make it work out. Let's get this out of the way. Yep, back, 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 back. I should play Car Mechanic Simulator sometime. That will be instructive since I have very little understanding. I mean, I, I know the basics of cars, but I could probably do with some more fake experience, you know, as I do. Alrighty, that's it, right? Okay. Um, they really tempt you to do something strange here. <laughs> I wasn't able to complete a T because I lifted. Well, it only lets you make one one stroke, so you gotta make the most of that stroke. Hey, you're giving me fewer and fewer points. This is not fun. I did it really quickly. Refill the oil, fix the problem with the oil system. Shouldn't we do the fix the problem with the oil system first and then refill the oil? I think that's the way I'm gonna go. All right, uh, doesn't seem like it's got any tips for me. So, pressure filter is damaged. Okay, I don't know if that's the sole problem here, but that's a heck of a start. Okay, um, this seems like the wrong place to try and take it out from. Okay, I think it's telling me to take out the oil filter first. What? Or take off the engine cowling. Yeah, that would be good. Well, I guess it's about time we removed all that. Alright. And finally, the pressure filter. Well, they made the parts visually appealing enough. Okay, can we repair the pressure filter? I feel really short. Um, oil filter is also damaged. I didn't even check that. Okay, here we go. Mini game time. It says restore status 100%, but it's lying. 133% is necessary. Alright, how about the pressure filter? Oh, I messed up on that. But it, it was fine with it. I guess. Right? Well, yeah, I've only got fine and pristine parts. At times. So this was a bit more complicated. Some more disassembly required. This had better be an authentic representation of the internals of the Tiger Moth, though. Okay, good times.
Now we can close this. No, not disassemble. I want to assemble. Oh, right, I have to put the cap on. Ha! Ah, good reminder. It didn't care about that key. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. You move back. Zen and the art of Tiger Moth maintenance. This could be a very relaxing game, really, in a way. So we're done, right? We are done. Wait, it's got an X mark on this thing. What's the what's the problem? Check mark, check mark, check mark, X mark. Hmm. Oh, I haven't closed this. So it does. How about if I don't close that one? Nope. Okay, so it is particular about these things. Good. Good to know. Okay. Right. Um. Oh, how do I cross the T? I can't cross the T. The struggle continues. Perfect job. Okay, well, 191. We're 27 minutes in. Fix the propeller, refuel the aircraft. Okay. Right. Um, let's just check what's wrong with things here. Fine. Propeller's fine. Engine cowling? Fine. Well, let's take things off then. Spinner and air screw hub. Hold on. Damaged. Right. Spinner back plate is fine. So, disassembly. Uh, what do you want me to take off? Okay, that. Spinner black back plate. And then this hub. Oh, we have to take off the propeller first and then this hub. I see. There's no guarantee it's only one part that needs to be fixed, though. As we saw with the oil situation, there were two parts. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, we can't repair it. Okay, so it's the first time we just outright can't repair the thing. Well, except for the tires. Uh, yes. Cost and resource points. Okay, how do I do this? Um, mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get if I actually want to do my initials. Alright. Not my real initials, by the way. <laughs> um, my internet initials. Okay, so... Yeah. Assembly. Task completed. Well, let's 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 leave the propeller off for now and see if uh, you know we need to test this for bugs. It's early access. It's what we need to do. Okay, cap back on. Does it know? Yeah, it knows. It knows we haven't put the propeller on. All parts must be there. The spinner back plate. And the spinner. Now are we good? We are good. Alright. They're really stingy with points now. I don't know which one's next, whether it's the Mosquito or the Spitfire, but I swear if I go up in rank and they don't give me a new plane, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, check the undercarriage. Good times. Um, I guess we'll have to prop it up. It's harder to do it once the plane has contact. Okay. Should be okay. 
All right, diagnostics. Well, that's damaged. That's fine. That's pristine. That's not a part we can check. On this side. Damaged. God, poor wheels. Rough landings. I know how that is. Oh, and then there's the tail. Um, oh, we've got a thing there. That's supposed to go under there. I... Well, they are pretty light, so I guess I could lift it up like that. I wonder... How light are they? I'm almost tempted to alt-tab and check Wikipedia, but maybe alt-tabbing is not the best thing to do. Okay. Let's grab the wheel. Okay, we've got both wheels. Let's see what we can repair. Uh, none of them are repairable. Great. Two wheels and a tail skid. I have to pay for it out of my points. My resource points. Okay, come on. Okay, approaching from the back scene to work on this one. That does look like a nice fresh tail skid. Looking at it, it's possible to damage the horizontal stabilizer if it's fully deflected down and the tail skid sort of has, has a spring on it. So, hmm. Anyway, uh, we have to do the refueling of course. But that that part is done, right? Yeah. All right, it's all set to go. Let me get the ladder away. And looking good. As long as I get those 30 points. Okay, continue. Check all spark plugs, refuel the aircraft. Okie dokie. Parts of larger assemblies, these can remove be removed together, which will be covered later. Hey, cover it now. Clicking on an assembly once will select it, allowing you to remove its parts. You can deselect the assembly with the right mouse button. Okay. Well, anyway, we know where the spark plugs are going to be. Okay, and they're on these cylinders. We probably have to, oh, we have to remove the exhaust pipe first. Okay, uh, bottom engine cowling first. Huh? No. No? Somebody actually said no. All right, we have to remove this first. I didn't even have to do some of the other stuff. Okay. I overcomplicated matters. No, I want the... Oh, I've got it. Spark plug. Okay. Spark plug. Okay, and four spark plug. It's got four cylinders. We cannot repair spark plugs. All right, fair enough. Wait, it only says replace one. Wait, oh, not all of them were bad. Oh, right. I should have checked that. It just said inspect spark plugs. It didn't say remove all of them. Okay. Bad use of my time. <laughs> I guess to put the parts in, you don't have to click the assembly. To remove the part, you need to click the assembly. But to put the part in, you don't.
Well, we rotated the spark plugs for some reason. Okay, that should be it for the spark plugs and we just need to refuel. Not all parts properly screwed in. Air intake. Oh, yeah, I did remove one bolt. Oh. Oh. Why did you let me move on? If you're gonna take points off for that. There is an expert mode, and I do wonder about expert mode. Okay, replace the front windscreen, replace the propeller, replace the compression legs. I don't need to refuel? This is awesome. Let somebody else refuel. I'm a master mechanic over here. Boy, that propeller is messed up. No need to uh, wonder why that has to be replaced. It's a wonder that uh, Mark Whitman made it back alive. And we obviously can't repair that. Yeah, figures. More resource points. Okay. Well, let's just get this part done. Okay. Next. Front windscreen. Got it. And yeah, I'm betting replace means replace. Mm-hmm. Not repairable. Good thing that they deliver really quickly. They're an Amazon over here. Instantaneous. Okay, finally the compression legs over here. And that's going to require the jack. And let's just double check which one needs to be done. That one's damaged. Probably both of them. Compression legs seems to be something that, you know, that probably both need to be replaced. Come on. Yeah. All right. Putting up the jack. They don't actually require you to take the jack off. I've put it on, but I've never released it. I guess we let the pilots do that for themselves or something. I don't know. I wonder how high I can put it. Anyway. Oh, we're gonna need to remove a bunch of things. Right? It's not gonna... Oh, maybe I, I can just take this off? Huh. I thought I'd have to take the wheel off and other things, but no. They just hang out there. Go figure. Come on, please tell me I can repa repair, it, repair it with the sweet, sweet oil. Why is it not even in my inventory? There we go. No, not repairable. You know, I could try. Right? Oh, shoot. Oh well, so much for the signature. Okay. Sometimes they don't let you click where you think you ought to be able to click for something. Okay, I think that's, that's it. We don't even have a... Uh, to have to fuel it. It's my favorite part of this particular task. Not having to refuel the darn thing. Maybe I should just merge the T and the R somehow. Pass 300. Okay, continue. That took a while though, and we're 52 minutes in. Check the oil filters, check the fuel filter, refuel the aircraft. Okay, check, don't replace necessarily. Okay, oil filter, diagnostics. I guess we can take a look at it from here. Uh, fuel filter, where was that? That's damaged. Okay, well let's get that. And what else? Oh, refuel, okay. Oil filters, it's a plural. I only checked one. Hmm. 
No, the pressure filter is damaged. When they said they when they made it pl plural, they meant the pressure filter. Okay. I didn't say pressure filter, darn it. Otherwise, I'm gonna be looking for something called an oil filter. Please let me oil these. Okay. Yes, they are repairable. All right, here we go. Oh, I went too far on that one. Oh, that was super precise too. Okay, next, fuel filter. Oh, I did a bad job. Oh, that was horrible. Please tell me there are two more spots. There are. You have to get three out of four, I guess. Oh, I did that. Oh, shoot. Me and my index finger control. All right. Well, we have to replace that one. That was my bad. All right. Okay, well, assembly mode, not, well, I guess we can put the fuel filter in now. Ooh, that's shiny. Okie dokie, and we have to refuel it. Uh, of course we do. Yeah, I do have Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I haven't played it. picked it up somehow at some sale or humble bundle or something okay this does tempt me to play that too oh of course I do like planes more I noticed that there was going to be a space mechanic simulator I don't know if that one's by the same publisher though maybe different developers certainly That'll be interesting too. How they do space mechanic simulator. That can go horribly wrong. <laughs> but it could be good too. I don't mind being in space even though if it's, you know, a little bit inaccurate. Okay, all good. Okay, all right, good. Um, about four tasks left. Check pistons and rings, refuel the aircraft. Well, I do appreciate that there are different tasks, except for the refueling thing. Access to pistons is to remove the entire cylinder assemblies. To do this, press and hold left mouse button on an assembly for about a second, and then remove all the highlighted screws. Okay, um, I think approaching them from this engine cowling was best. Okay, so... Oh, we have to move what? Alright, the bottom. I'm willing to bet we have to remove a whole lot of other stuff before we remove the cylinder block, right? Interesting way to keep the cover on. Okay, now what? Oh, now we get to remove them. Do they just slide right out or something? Yep. I'd have to remove some of the other stuff before this, but... Like these ignition wires. But they seem to automatically pop off. Or no, I, I guess I clicked on them. I just included them with the rest of the stuff in the assembly, yeah. Okay, for this we have to remove the exhaust pipe. Interesting. Guess the exhaust pipe is only supported by that one cylinder at that point. Hmm. And we now have to remove this one too, the induction pipe. And we have... Wait a second. You gotta make me do all of it, aren't you? 
Yep. Okay, here we go. It was inevitable. Of course you have to disassemble everything to get the cylinders. And sure, the induction pipe. Which yeah, I guess is only being supported by that one cylinder now. Probably should have just removed it ahead of time. Wait a second, no. No, I want the whole assembly. Come on. No? No, it can't be based on a rocker cover. Ah, there we go. Good. It seems like approaching from the left side is better. Okay, pistons. Fine. Pristine. I like pristine. I get to check this ring. The ring is damaged. Oh, that piston's damaged. Okay. The rest should be okay. Uh, well, carburetor is fine, so, but that's the only thing we could actually repair. So we need replacement parts, six piston rings, and a piston. Very expensive. Okay, so all the cylinders are in. All the pistons are in, very important. I don't have to disassemble everything else to get the pistons in with the piston rings. Induction pipe. Right ignition wires, it's probably okay to get that in now. Why? Oh, well, we removed the spark plug there for some reason. Carburetor. And then we have to check if our inventory has any spare parts that we forgot to add in. Like that, that exhaust pipe might be important. Yeah. So. Moment of truth. Have I left anything out? Bottom engine column. Well, that's fine. That's as expected. Okay, good. I at least put all the parts back. Hopefully in the right order. Okay. You gotta make me refuel this, aren't you? Yep. Come on, a little bit more. Alright. Okay. All stuff is done. Come on, 400. Perfect job. Okay. We are one hour and 12 minutes in. Fix the problem with left side ignition system. And that's it. No fuel thing. Some tasks have a time limit. Oh, we have a stopwatch. I see. That, that suits me fine. Apparently five minutes. Okay, your pilot will miss his next mission, which will harm our chances in the war. Of course, of course it would. Okay, left side ignition system. Right? Yeah. All right. No. Oh, bottom engine cowling. Oh, you're gonna make it complicated on me just to slow me down, aren't you? Okay, so. For the left engine cover, we need to get the bottom cowling. No. <laughs> Man, he's really firm. Jeez. I'm just waiting for the screw sound to finish. All right. Now, what's about this left side ignition system? All the wires are fine. Spark plug. All the spark plugs are fine. Magneto. The left magneto is damaged. Let's check the timing gears and everything. Okay, so it's the left magneto. Maybe. Oh, good thing we don't have to take anything else out. Alright. Let's see if that gets it done. 
I don't think we can just oil a magneto. Oh, we can. Okay, I'll take it back. Alright. And dot number four. Dot number four is always tough, but it's still restored to part because I got 100% for three of them. Okay. Assembly mode. Okay, so I decided to fix the problem. And with time to spare. I like the timed ones, because they're quick. Okay, maybe just one more. Replace all worn parts in the engine. Well... You would give me a long one. Well, at least I don't have to refuel it. Okay. Full overhaul time. All right, Magneto's fine. Carburetor, fine. Intake. Exhaust pipe. Induction. Okay. I suppose I have to remove the cylinders to check the pistons, huh? Oh, there's damaged spark plug. Okay, other side. Diagnostics. Let's check the spark plugs. Damaged. Well, spark plugs, of course, you can't be repaired. No, I know there's at least one more piston ring. Yes. Don't tell me I didn't even have to bother with the pistons. Probably not. Yep, the pistons are fine. So, I think that's all the parts they introduced us to throughout all the other missions, so... Uh... You know, it occurs to me, it hasn't said... ...that I've fulfilled the thing. Oh, the right ignition wires were damaged. Oop. No, I need those. They are wires, so oiling them would not seem to be the right thing to do. Okay, it's still not satisfied, so let me check the propeller quickly. Nope, uh, that's all fine. No, sir. No. No. Not that. Oh, I. Oh, to. The whole front end has to be lifted off before I can open the top engine cover. Right. Crankshaft requires the whole thing. Alright, so top engine cover now. Oh my god, there's a lot of little things. Crankshaft is, itself is fine. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Uh, how am I gonna get up there? Maybe I need a ladder. Or I could just do this. Piston rod is fine. Piston rod pristine. Nothing else. Oh, I'm stuck? I think I'm stuck. Uh, no! I got too close to the plane. It won't let me go now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. These are all fine and pristine things. So... Oh, great. I can't jump. Hmm. Maybe if I go into one of the other views... Well, I could crouch. I could go prone for some reason. Uh... Will it let me get off this now? Okay, good, good, good. Alright, crisis averted. There's something I haven't checked. A oh, camshaft. Well, that's fine too. You know everything is fine because it's all in gold. I really did check all the piston rings. 
All those be seem fine. Does it claim that I have something to replace? Nope. Okay, let's just put it all back together again and see. Okay, last chance if any of you are broken parts. Camshaft cap. Well, that's fine too. Okay, well. First of all, let me put everything together and then we'll see whether I have any spare parts, as usual. Okay, let me just take a step back. Okay, I don't have anything in my inventory. Oh! Well, it's letting me sign, but it's not got a check mark there. Fix all worn parts. Yeah, it, uh, it does not give me a check mark. I wonder what part is missing, but I think I've had enough of this particular mission. Hmm. Alright, I bite. Let's see what's going on. We didn't replace all worn parts. Ah, uh, they knocked off points and I didn't get anything out of it. Well, I guess it's about time there was a failure. Okay, well, we're back to checking undercarriages. <laughs> Well, we know we can't just oil a wheel. So, we're gonna have to get a replacement part for that. Okay. And let's not forget the tail skid. Okay, all primary tasks are complete. But, maybe I'm not ready for the big time. Right. Fuel. Not enough. Just shy. We need 15 more points. Been an hour and 49 minutes. So, sort of a two hour thing. If you get that big one where you have to repair everything in the engine, right? Ooh, patch all bullet holes. Now, this is something. That's new. Uh, I need more information. Click a hole when in disassembly mode. So we disassemble the holes. Fair enough. Patch all bullet holes. Whoa, this is not a view I want to be- what? No, 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 get me into a different view. Uh... Okay, there we go. Apply the patch. Switch to install mode. Oh. Well, okay, fine. Need to rivet the patch in place. In this case, however, the patches are glued to the fabri fabric, so no rivets are required. I guess it makes sense. Benefits of... Okay, assembly. And assembly. The camera's gone all weird though. Move the camera. Okay. Um, well, there's. Are all the bullet holes on the wings? Oh, that's it. We have patched all bullet holes. Okay, can we go back to letting me walk properly? Okay, all topped up. Okay, that was quick. All bullet holes patched. Fuel the aircraft. And we've made it. So what happens when we... No, no, I want to continue career. Okay. So once we get our promotion, we can we have three skill points. Early start. Pilot to fill out his report faster than others, so he'll have five more minutes to work on the aircraft. Eagle eye. 
detailed knowledge of aircraft systems allow you to spot faults twice as fast as other mechanics. Well, it seems good. No, that's not early start. That's early start. Automatically remove two screws at the same time. I could do with that sort of speed. On-site repairs will be easier. I don't know about the early start yet. Eagle Eye. I want the two screws thing. I feel like there's got to be more time stuff, so maybe early start. Different plane? This is what I want to know. Please let it be a different plane. Please let it be a different plane. It's still Mark Whitman. That is a bad sign. Student crashed the plane on his first solo. A new aircraft has just arrived but it spent a lot of time just standing outside. So it's in a really bad shape. Make sure that everything works as it should before we send it to the paint shop. Gosh darn it. I got a promotion and I'm still stuck with the Tiger Moth. Man. Okay. Well, anyway, I sped run my promotion. Uh, my promotion. It took less than two hours to get to the first promotion, but I'm still stuck on Tiger Mops. I am not satisfied with this. Got exit right now. Exit to make me. I'll exit to main menu. I'll sign to confirm that. Really sloppily. All right. So that was. Plane mechanic simulator, how it begins. I don't know how long it takes to actually get to a mosquito or a Spitfire because they, when I got promoted, they didn't really promote me to maintenance of either of those two planes. I hope they introduce more planes. That would help. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.